this get this is getting in depth. Now you said I'm telling you Michael Moore's been on Pierce Fox and then I trust him because he's for the people and you said you don't trust Fox, you don't you don't even trust M MSNBC. No, not at all. Cause I, cause I, cause I, I, I trust I trust MSNBC and Fox about equally. Which means I don't trust him at all. So Michael Moore saying he's for the people coming on Pierce Bronson and going down with the Occupy movement, you still don't trust Michael Moore? No. Not at all? No, not very much. So would you trust me? I don't know. You don't know me? No. Okay, so why don't you, you do you have a computer? I do. Okay, so what, what you can do is, you can go onto your computer and go to YouTube and look up Casper Orchids. All right. C A S P E R O R C H I D S, like the ghost and the flower. Casper, Casper Orchids. Absolutely. Orchids. I have videos from. I have. I took a six month uh, until this video. These couple videos on Halloween. It is Halloween 2011. Correct? All right. Correct. Absolutely. I have taken like a six month break from doing videos. Okay. Because I lost the house out in Florida. I didn't have electricity. I lived in the house without electricity. And, you, and then you moved to Northwest Ohio? And I moved to Northwest Ohio. Why? Because I, I don't know why, but there's a oh. plan laid before me. Oh. And this is what this is important, what I'm doing here. Because there's some people right around the corner in this You're Occupy a, Bowling you, Green. Have you, you seen them? No, I have not. There's some people, and yes, I, I'm a Christian. I believe in uh, Jesus Christ. I believe that God has... Now, my, now my mom is very, extremely for... I mean, she, she believes that she has that uh, faith in Jesus Christ. And she thinks that Michael Moore is a duck. Okay, so now, how, now, how you haven't seen this Occupy Bowling Green? No, I have not. Okay, there's about six people down here. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to say that we need to... People out of, uh, I mean, a lot of people, so there's not, I mean, there's not a whole lot of people. There's only about six people here in Bowling Green right now. Okay. They're sleeping in tents. The Bowling Green police said they won't mess with them. All right. So far. Okay. Okay. The, uh, now, what did I just say? My, my idea is to audit, fully audit, but we need to elect observers because Absolutely. we can't allow the same people to audit that have already done the audits. Absolutely. Because the people who are being audited are going to pay off the people that are doing the auditing. That's, that's, that, that's they already the bought them. They don't have to pay them off. They right. already bought them with their lobbying and all. Yes. So we have to. Uh, what we have to do is we have to elect observers we trust that well, we, that will observe while we bring in accountants and uh, uh, lawyers that we don't quite trust yet, but they're going to teach us as we go on. It's really hard for us to believe lawyers. I mean, they, we, we've been taught that they are... But a not, lawyer can explain, he can make, put it in layman's terms for us as we go. He can. Okay, so you, would you trust me to be an observer, and you're saying you don't know me. So let's get back to this. Go look up Casper Orchids on YouTube. I haven't done a video for like six, eight months. Okay. Now about eight, six months ago, I did a video saying the uh, all CEOs of all major need to be fully audited, uh, subpoenaed. All CEOs need to be subpoenaed for sworn statements. All their visas need to be taken away. All the bank accounts frozen, and all the major financial institutions need to be fully audited for every dime, including the Federal Reserve. Absolutely. I made this video like eight months ago before anything of this happened. Okay. Now you saw this video. Would you? Would that give you a little more trust in me? Perhaps. And let's say I showed you my uh, YouTube account, my Twitter account under Casper Orchids, and I showed you June 6th, and I called out in a tweet, I said, all you uh, CEOs, all you people lying, you better come forth with the truth right now before it's too late. There's, and then I put another tweet, there's a big storm of brewing, and I put this out June 6th, okay. or June 21st. Now the big storm that is a brewing, I said before any, obviously, were you to check it, I favored it, so it would be easy for you. And the, and the storm of brewing is... Occupy Movement. I didn't know what... Occupy the, Wall Street? Occupy Wall Street, Occupy Movement. Uh, the people wanting to take back America for themselves. That's the big storm that's the brewing. Okay, what, what do you, how do you feel about Greece? I think that the people uh, that are protesting have every right that they're being shammed. They're selling off their relics, their national treasures for pennies on the dollar. They're giving these huge cuts just to help uh, these bankers stay rich. That's what, what I believe happened is 
They gave all these bad loans out that they knew were going to fail. So every one of these bad loans, they had to have a down payment, right? You're talking in America, right? You're, you're yeah. talking about these, these uh, uh, what do you call them, the, the, the Ashley Bones or whatever? The, uh, before the bubble, the uh, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now all these loans went out to, to people that couldn't cover it. Now, you need a down payment for all these houses, right? Yeah. So they took, what they did is, I believe they took all that down payment money and they gave themselves all these million dollar bonuses for all these houses. And then they knew it would, the bubble would happen. And yeah, look, look, I, 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 don't, I don't believe that, I they knew that that was going to happen. That would make it a conspiracy. What, okay, I believe a conspiracy happened. No, I believe a conspiracy happened. I believe they they took all this money beforehand, all these down payments on houses. Are you going to follow me or just for one more minute? Okay. Okay. What they did is they spent all these loans out. They took all these down payments. They knew that the people couldn't pay it back. All this money they gave themselves in these uh, these uh, big bonuses, and they knew it would fail. And they, it, let's say the bank failed, and it's federally insured. But before it went to that, they knew it would be because they're the ones setting the laws. They bought off Congress. They knew there would be a bailout. The bailout money is now replacing all the money they stole. Yes. So, so all the money that all those big bonuses they gave themselves, so they emptied out the bank accounts of the people, and they took all those uh, down payments on the houses. The, the bailout money is replacing that money. And that's why it's so hard to track it because they can't figure out who actually owns all these houses now. Because now it's part of the federal government? It's part of these banks that bought it up. They switched it so many times amongst themselves. Right. Because, because these, I mean, there's so many different places where this trade is Yes, and this is just a theory of mine, but it makes kind of sense how they could. This would mean a conspiracy. That means people need to go to prison. So that's why I want. That's why I want. That's why. That's why I want. Good. I want him uh, to be. Uh, you're going to have a data for sworn statements. I want all the banks to be oath to get sworn statements beforehand. Alright, that's not going to happen though. As long as we make it a law, they have to. Or, they, or they'll be sent to the jail for fraud. Perjury? Well, it wouldn't be perjury. It'd be uh, uh, blocking a federal order to get those sworn statements. They could at least get them perjured. They, 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 they would lie about it. No doubt. No doubt. But then, then, we, then we subpoena. I mean, then we audit. Yeah. We have to hire people we trust to do the audit. But we hold special elections. Who to trust, though? But we're going to do special elections. And we're going to... We're going to... Trust me! Don't have I, I'm all green. I'm not going to sell out. I'm asking you, America, trust me, William Richard Paxton. I will not sell out. I will not let they promise to give 80% of the money back. I'll say no. We want the people responsible thrown in prison, and we want all the money returned. I will not sell out, America. But I'm going to do my best to earn that trust. I believe you, and I'm one of the people that can leave the show. That's the problem. Okay, but maybe, maybe uh, when you take my YouTube video, you'll share it with a few friends. And when you, when I start a live stream down here in Bowling Green, you'll start watching me every night on live stream. Occupy Bowling Green live stream. And then you can share it with, put tweets from links. Hey, check out this guy in Bowling Green. I, I trust him because look at his YouTube videos eight months ago. He took a break and now he's coming on with a vengeance. And people and look at him dancing backwards to uh Spondle. This guy is he's legit. He lost his house. Okay, well, look, look at Ron Paul though. Ron Paul came out 
Uh, he's the most honest politician you'll ever see. Ron Paul is the most honest person you'll ever meet. Your I think they're lying about the polls. I think he has more support than what they're saying. You think so? Because they're afraid. They, they wanted to come down where I'm not going to vote for him because it's a waste to vote when, in actuality. Well, now you have one good point because I was going to vote for him last election. However, that is against him. Okay. So what would I mean? Yeah, also what I'm going to do is, go we're about I'm, to go to the end again in a second. I'm, go no. I'm going to ask, I'm going to go down with my YouTube camera, I'm going to go on the Bowling Green campus and ask all the uh, Bowling Green students to register as a Republican so they can vote for Ron Paul in the upcoming uh, primary. I don't like it. Ron Paul doesn't stand a chance in the Republican primary, I'm sorry. That's because they're telling us he doesn't. He doesn't. But the polls could be right. Let's say the polls. No. Yeah. I really believe so. Do you trust M MSNBC and no. Fox with the polls? No. So how do we know? Maybe he's. Uh, maybe everyone wants him, but they're telling us that nobody's voting for him. Because every time I go on to the internet, Ron Paul has all these supporters and then all these other candidates are like dislike, dislike, and Ron Paul's like 90% likes and only a few dislikes. And then they say he's only receiving 10% of the votes. I think they're lying in the polls. Yeah, well, you might be right. The people that I have the people believe that. People believe the polls. Yeah. So we have to say, don't believe the polls. Believe your heart. <laughs> or we have to go out and, and do a poll people, ourselves. People are going to vote for one of two people. <laughs> hey, does anybody here like Ron Paul? Or do you like Mitt Romney? I'd rather Ron Paul. Or Obama? You would rather Ron Paul? Yeah, but I don't really know anything about him. <laughs> No, I, what, I, what I should do is go around and say, who do you like, Obama, Paul, or Romney? And you might you might actually get Ron Paul, but it's not going to be how, it's, how it is in the vote. The because they're going to lie to us and say he only has 10% when he really has like 50. Because he's not going to get anything as far as the Republican machine goes, he will not get money. He will not get monetary. So Kane is just another corporate public. So is Romney. So either way, we're screwed. And, and, and then we're back stuck with Obama. At, at the same time, o Obama... Well, he's not a corporate puppet. I think he but he can't do it. And he, he waited too long before he started coming out with his guns and he's sitting too far too deep. He, he took too much money from Man, him. Let's go. All right. Man, nice talking to you. I'm going to stop this video. All right. Sounds good, man. Go we'll check me up. out, Cash for Orchids, at YouTube. You'll be on. Uh, See ya.